The Language Integrated Query feature of the .NET Framework 3.5 allows developers to run query-like statements not only against database objects, but also against .NET objects. Let's take a look at this. We'll create a new Visual Basic console application, like so. And we want to create a new type that has some fields. Let's see, I've got some code for this simple type right here. It's a class called foo, and it's got a couple strings, a name, and a type. And then let's insert some code to actually run a query against this. And we'll take a look at that code. What this code does is it creates an array of foo objects, news that up, and it goes through each item in the array, creates a new object for it, sets its name to the index as a string, and sets its type to, quote, plain, unquote. Then, we want to differentiate a couple of these objects, so we set their type to, quote, decorated, unquote. And finally, the meat of the query, which is the query statement right here. We dim up this object, and we set it to all the items in the array where the item type is equal to decorated, and select all those items into a new array right here, a new collection, rather. And then we're going to iterate over each item in that collection and just dump it out to the console. Let's go ahead and build that and run it. And you can see that items 3 and 7, just like we would have expected, are printed out. That's linked to .NET objects.